By the end of this video, you'll be able to convert video to audio on your iPhone. Let's get started. So you will not need any special software or apps for this tutorial. You can use the built-in features on your iPhone to convert a video file to an audio file. First, you're going to want to create a shortcut. And to do this, you're gonna look on your phone and find shortcuts. So you're gonna click on shortcuts. If you do not have shortcuts installed or if you uninstalled it before, you're gonna to wanna to go to the app store and then install the app on your phone and then join me at the next screen. So now that you're in shortcuts, you're going to want to add a shortcut on the top right hand side of the screen. So go ahead and click the plus icon. Once you click on the plus icon, let's go ahead and rename this. So I'm gonna click in the center top and I'm going to click on the pen icon for a rename. And now I'm going to rename this, let's say convert video to audio. So that will name your shortcut. Now I'm gonna press done on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Next, I'm going to go to the bottom part of the screen and click on the information on the bottom center. And this will bring me to the information for the shortcut. And I'd like to click on show in share sheet. So I'll go ahead and click that. Once you have that enabled, go ahead and click on done on the top right. That will bring you to this screen. And you'll see that it starts with the words receive images and 18 more. We're gonna click on the blue images and 18 more. And that will bring up this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this on the top left. And now that I've cleared it, I just want to have this be clicked on media. So that's the only one I need clicked on this one or enabled. So now that that's enabled, I'm gonna click on done. Once I'm on this screen again, now I'm going to click on add action. Now I'm gonna look for an option for encode. So the option we want is encode media. Once you find that, I'm gonna click on that. So now I've got encode media there. Next, I'm gonna have this drop down arrow in the center of the screen and I click on that. And now I'm gonna change some settings here. Instead of uh, having audio only disabled, I want to enable that. So I'm gonna enable audio only. Now I'm going to click on format. Instead of having the format come out as a video file, I want the format to come out as an audio file, which is an AIFF file. So that's a, a form of audio. So now that I have those settings correct, I'm going to go to the bottom again, and I'm gonna look for one more action, and I'm gonna look for save. And the action I want is save file. So you'll see documents, save file. I'm gonna click on that. And so now we have a screen that looks like this. So I'm gonna receive the media from the share sheet and then encode that uh, as a from a video file to an audio file and then save that into a folder onto my iPhone. So now that everything is looking good on this screen, I'm gonna click on done on the top right hand side of the screen. And you'll see it created that shortcut, convert video to audio. So now the next step is to find a video file on your phone. So I'm gonna to go to my photos and I'm gonna click on photos and I have a bunch of different photos here. You'll see that I have one in the middle here that is a video file. So I'm gonna click on that one and it's starting to play the video file. But I want to do is click on the share on the bottom left hand side of the screen. And once I click on that, it's going to bring up this screen and I want to scroll down and you'll notice my shortcut is on the bottom of the screen, convert video to audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that shortcut and it's gonna prepare and it's gonna take a second. And then once it converts it, it's gonna ask me where I would like to place this audio file. So I'm gonna click on back for a second. So you'll have your uh, files here on your iPhone. You can also add a folder by going to the top right hand side and clicking on the three dots. And you can add a new folder if you would like. I have a folder that I set up previously for audio files. I'm gonna click on that. Once you've selected your folder, you wanna click on open, which is on the top right hand side of your screen. And so now that I press open, it will give me the confirmation that it converted that video file to an audio file. So now I need to find that file on my phone. So I'm gonna click on the home screen here and I need to find my files. So your files looks like this on the top right hand side of your screen. So I'm gonna click on that. And so now I can see the files and the folders on my iPhone. You'll see I've got my audio files. It now has one item in it, it had zero items before. And there is the audio from the video that I just took. So I can go ahead and click on this and it will play the audio for me if I want to. On the bottom right hand, I can press play. If you would like to share this audio with someone, you can click on the share button on the bottom left hand side of your screen, and then you can click on your contacts or your email, however you would like to share that. And when I'm finished with this audio file, I just press done on the top of my screen. And that's how easy it is to convert a video file to an audio file on your iPhone. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other iPhone tutorials on this channel. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.